Good morning. It's Tuesday, September 19th, 2023. My name is Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, A Difficult Thing, and our scripture is 2 Kings, chapter 2. When the Lord was about to take Elijah up to heaven in a whirlwind, Elijah and Elisha were traveling from Gilgal. And Elijah said to Elisha, Stay here, for the Lord has told me to go to Bethel. But Elisha replied, As surely as the Lord lives and you yourself live, I will never leave you. So they went down together to Bethel. The group of prophets from Bethel came to Elisha and asked him, Do you know that the Lord is going to take your master away from you today? Of course I know, Elisha answered, but be quiet about it. Then Elijah said to Elisha, Stay here, for the Lord has told me to go to Jericho. But Elisha replied again, As surely as the Lord lives, and you yourself live, I will never leave you. So they went on together to Jericho. Then the group of prophets from Jericho came to Elisha and asked him, Did you know that the Lord is going to take your master away from you today? Of course I knew, Elisha answered, but be quiet about it. Then Elijah said to Elisha, Stay here, for the Lord has told me to go to the Jordan River. But again Elisha replied, As surely as the Lord lives and you yourself live, I will never leave you. So they went on together. Fifty men from the group of prophets also went and watched from a distance as Elijah and Elisha stopped beside the Jordan River. Then Elijah folded his cloak together and struck the water with it. The river divided, and the two of them went across on dry ground. When they came to the other side, Elijah said to Elisha, Tell me what I can do for you before I am taken away. And Elisha replied, Please let me inherit a double share of your spirit and become your successor. You've asked a difficult thing, Elijah replied. If you see me when I'm taken from you, then you will get your request. But if not, then you won't. As they were walking along and talking, suddenly a chariot of fire appeared drawn by horses of fire. It drove between the two men, separating them, and Elijah was carried by a whirlwind into heaven. Elisha saw it and cried out, My father, my father, I see the chariots and charioteers of Israel. And as they disappeared from sight, Elisha tore his clothes in distress. Elisha picked up Elijah's cloak, which had fallen when he was taken up. Then Elisha returned to the bank of the Jordan River. He struck the water with Elijah's cloak and cried out, Where is the Lord, the God of Elijah? Then the river divided and Elisha went across. When the group of prophets from Jericho saw from a distance what happened, they exclaimed, Elijah's spirit rests upon Elisha, and they went to meet him and bowed to the ground before him. Elisha would not be separated from his mentor, Elijah. That is so like Ruth clinging to Naomi, a fierce determination to faithfully serve what God has given you. Three times Elijah told his protege to wait behind. Three times Elisha answers with his lifelong commitment to serve God by staying close to the shadow of Elijah. In the end, it was only a chariot on fire with heaven's glory that could separate them. What do we make of this event and its place in God's word to us? Well, if you're dissecting the event to make sense of the miracles, or wondering what part the prophets of Bethel and Jericho play, or what kind of material it would take to produce Elijah's miracle-generating robe, we're probably placing more weight on the miracles than on the giver of miracles. The main sense I see in this whole account of Elijah's last days is the shift of God's work that falls on the shoulders of Elisha. He asked for a double share of the spirit of his teacher. Elijah called it a difficult thing. Now there are two ways to take that. Either it was a tricky thing for Elijah to produce it for Elisha, 
or a double prophet's portion would bring a very difficult life to Elisha. Elijah left it all in God's hands. If that was God's will, Elisha would see it. For you today, if you've sat at the feet of some godly teachers or teacher, you have sensed something of what God wants to do with your life. Dare you ask for a difficult thing? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.